welcome back to my channel so today I have this look for you guys that I am wearing right now it is something very neutral browns and reds and I don't know I just really really love it and it's perfect for the fall and this is what actually inspired me but it, that wasn't the only thing that inspired me too a friend of mine also inspired me to do this look because I saw it on her and I was like oh my god I have to do this look for you guys so her name is Melissa you guys can find her on Instagram YouTube everywhere I will have her social medias everything down below for you guys because she is a person that you guys need to see like her tutorials are everything so yeah anyways yeah this is the look you could definitely add a bold lip if you like I wanted to do something neutral because I do want to do like a really dark brown lipstick I don't know let me know if you guys do want to see a tutorial with that color lipstick but anyways if you guys would like to know how to recreate this simple makeup look then just keep on watching all right, starting out with our face, I'm going to use this Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer and just using one pump to apply this all over my entire face with my fingers. You guys know that this is my current obsession. It really does hold, uh, control the oil. So I strongly recommend this to my oily skin people. Also, I'm going to be using this new foundation from Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Foundation. And yes, this was my first time using it, so it took a little bit for that foundation to come out. But right off the bat, as you guys can see, I was super impressed by the coverage. Like this has maximum coverage like you will not see an imperfection through this so that is something that i totally love and as well that it is meant for oily skin people and that it's waterproof it lasted all day on me so i highly recommend this foundation the only thing i did not like about it is that i have to pick another foundation shade because this one is too pink for me and i'm using the shade 6.5 but like i said it's a little bit too pink for me so i have to change my shade but for concealer i'm using the naked uh skin concealer as well from urban decay and i'm first going to go ahead and apply this underneath my eyes and as well a little bit on my chin down the bridge of my nose into my forehead just to do a little bit of highlighting and as well you know hide those under eye circles so for my brush i'm actually going to be using the new brush set from sigma it's called the baking and strobing brush set and this one is the f79 which is meant for uh, blending your concealer so this is what I'm doing blending out my concealer with it and let me tell you guys it is an amazing brush like I just fell in love with it and it blends it out flawlessly so definitely recommend this brush you guys can buy it separately or with the brush set brush set but anyways now I'm gonna go ahead and start baking so taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm gonna use the brush f89 to go ahead and start uh, baking under my eye and as you guys can see at first I was kind of like wait should I only use a little bit but then I realized that just grab as much product as possible like of the powder and then with just that one dip you have everything good to go for your whole face so for me I only had to dip it in one time and that is all and look it covered everything and I feel like I wasn't wasting a lot of product so now I'm gonna do it with my brows boom like that I'm just kidding it is not, it's not magic <laughs> but I'll have a link down below of how I do my brows but moving on I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush the fo6 as well from the collection and I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep off this powder that we uh, left there baking so just go ahead and make sure you remove all of the powder and then after that we're gonna move on to the eyes and leave the face for right now so go ahead and grab your Anastasia modern renaissance palette and we're gonna take the first color called the burnt orange and start applying this on our eye so I'm obviously gonna start out in the crease as always but we're also going to be moving it to the outer part of our eye and as well a little bit um, more outside of our area if you know what I mean because normally I would stop there but I'm actually going to drag it more out and then as well under my lower lash line if you guys can see. So this is where I'm starting to apply this and I'm starting out very slowly with this eyeshadow and then keep building up the intensity of it. And I do want to let you guys know to take your time with this eyeshadow. This is going to be the base of making the whole smoky eye effect work because if not, it's going to look like it wasn't blended enough. So take your time with it. Next, I'm going to take Golden Ochre, which is a very light vanilla shade. But at the same time, it has a little bit of shimmer and I don't want it to be so overpowering. So I'm using it as my brow bone highlight. But as you guys can see, you can barely see a little bit of it. But in the sunlight, you can see that little tiny shimmer of it. Um, but next, I'm going to go ahead and stick. Uh, take my E40 again and make sure everything is well blended out then after that I'm going to take red ochre with an E25 and start placing this only on the outer part of my eye and then working it slowly into my crease this is going to give us that red brown effect if you don't want this you don't have to use this shade you can go with the dark brown and then just start working it up but I really did want this smoky eye to be very warm and with red tones so I definitely recommend use red ochre if you want that as well but as you guys can see I'm just slowly working with this eyeshadow as well just trying to concentrate in more mainly 
mainly in the outer part of the eye and then whatever is rest on the brush I take it up into my crease and then as well I'm gonna go back in with my E40 again and make sure to blend out the edges this what I love about it is that you don't really have to be careful with it because the most smoke the more smoky it looks the better it looks um, so you could actually go on your lid and start blending it out you know how sometimes we have to be careful not to get the eyeshadow on our lid well this time you don't have to worry about that um, but then taking cypress umber I'm gonna also apply this right on top of the red ochre to make it look more brown and darker and smoky so with an E30 I'm only concentrating this on the actual outer part not in the crease but then after you're done blending that out now you want to make sure to blend it out even more with an E40 again so just make sure you always have your E40 with you because you're always going to need it after each step. So then after that, I'm going to make it warmer. So I'm taking this kind of orangey color called Wilbur. I think that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm concentrating this um, on the center of my lid and then as well trying to work it out on the outer part of the eye. That way it just looks really warm. Um, but you don't also have to use this shade. You could actually go back with the actual first shade that we started out with. Um, but yeah, so then after you're done with that, next we're going to go ahead and take the color that I'm obsessed with, which is Primavera, which is this like champagne gold color. I don't know. It's so beautiful. But anyways, instead of just applying it on the inner part of our eye, we're actually going to take it a little bit farther than that. So we're going to actually make it seem as if it's blending into our matte shades. So just take it in and then as well take it all the way up into your crease. It actually looks so cool. So yeah, after you're done applying that eyeshadow, pretty much we're done with the top lid and now we have to just concentrate the same exact steps on our lower lash line. So again with another E30, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps. I'm first starting out with the you know the first warm brown and then as well going into the red one and then the dark brown and then the orange one so just repeating the same steps over and over again um, on your lower lash line until it's very smoked out and then after that we can move on to our lashes so for my lashes I'm first gonna start out with this L'Oreal butterfly sculpt mascara to uh, I was gonna say to create my lashes what the heck am I saying um, to coat my lashes and then after that as well apply some of this on my lower lashes and then after that apply my false lashes which are these from Irene's Beauty. These are in the style Fearless which are so beautiful and I feel like they're great whenever you don't want to do a wing liner. But after that I'm going to take my NYC liquid eyeliner, not to do a wing liner but instead just to kind of connect my lashes to my eye. It actually makes a huge difference and people skip out on this but I'm just go going to do that. Then after that I'm going to move back to my face and start out with this shade called Whisper from Frankie Rose Cosmetics and then just kind of warm up my, sh my face a little bit and then after that I'm going to take the middle shade to contour which this one is called Heated and it's a little bit darker so that way it's perfect to contour with it and then again taking my first brush that I used to bake with the remaining powder that I had to bake under my contour. And then this blush is Sensia's Rose from Estee Lauder and I'm just applying that on my cheeks. Now taking this beautiful tiny little brush from Sigma, the F42, I'm taking Sunlight from Makeup Geek in collaboration with Kathleen Lights to apply as my highlight. And let me tell you guys, I'm obsessed with this brush. It is so tiny and cute and does the job. So highly recommend that brush. Um, now I'm uh, sweeping off the powder that we applied underneath our contour and moving on to our lips. So first starting out with this 1993 lip liner from Urban Decay to line my lips. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and take my lipstick, which is from MAC and it's called uh, Velvet Teddy. I've heard so many people rave about this lipstick, so I finally decided to pick it up and actually I really love it. But now I'm going to top it off with this sugar gloss from Ranky Rose Cosmetics and that is all. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section what other fall makeup looks you guys would like to see from me. And with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Mwah.